Akabisa. I still feel like I've done this. I've been alive. Let's put the lyrics right here. Vira me tira do sério, destrói os planos que um dia eu fiz pra mim, me faz pensar por que a vida é assim. Eu sempre vou e volto pros teus braços. Você não me quer de verdade. Quando eu sou sua vaidade, eu vivo seguindo teus passos. Eu sempre estou preso em teus laços. É só você chamar. Wow, what a voice. Okay, first thing first, it's uh, undeniable that we are here in front of a more soul type of singer which uh, in a way it's more in the tradition of uh, the great soul singers in the US, you know, follows a little bit also, I think, what Timaya was doing in a way. And from the lyrics, it's very interesting because you really get the feeling of the side of the story from the woman that keeps going back to a love that perhaps is not necessarily, you know, the best love for her, but somehow, eh? somehow, Keeps going back in his arms. She just belted the porque out like boom. Uh, take this, go home, think about it. Um, very nice. Let's try to read a little bit of the lyrics here. Uh, I seem to see that there is a chorus that repeat twice. Mas tem que me prender, tem, tem que seducir, sopra me de, 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 deixar, loca per você, uh, sopra ter alguém, que vivo sempre ao seu dispor, por um segundo de amor. Wow, she's really like, it seems like she's really dependent on this love. And in a way, it's also very interesting because these type of songs are so revealing in terms of intimacy, you know, and vulnerabilities. the amor ever you know it's always that kind of story there are conflicts there are like relationship that sometimes they create this type of like a symbiotic energy sometimes there is a dependency energy and uh, for whatever reason maybe in your like rational mind you keep trying to be away from it and then you fall into the passion and attraction or whatever it's going on I mean, it's something that it's been talked about also, I think, in other songs of this kind. Then again, it always reveals, and I think it also takes a little bit of courage, if you ask me, just to be so candid and open about your own like turmoils, emotional turmoils. And also, you know, the majority of people, they always want to depict themselves as either being in the right or, uh, you know, being unscuffed by anything and it's so interesting always when actually you're singing about things which yeah you 
don't have to agree with perhaps you will do it differently perhaps you're judging her rationally thinking like leave him or whatever yet at the same time you know she's just sharing what is what she's going through what she went through and for that it's uh yeah it takes it takes also some guts and then again it's probably so relatable because this probably happens so often Você não me quer de verdade No fundo eu sou tua vaidade Eu vivo seguindo teus passos like music wise almost reminds me of like uh, uh i'm still in love. no what was it uh gary moore uh what, what's the song i still got the blues sometimes has a little bit of that vibe here now and then when she goes lower with the voice there is a, like that kind of rhythm and blues going on here like, like I said before, much more in the American tradition, in the U.S. tradition. Before I got like, I'm guys. Okay, you got the point. What a great singer, man. I mean, but I wonder why I didn't get very often this request, honestly. I, I haven't seen, you know, I try to read the comments, I try to follow the links, and there is a lot of recurrent names. Uh, sometimes things I've already done, some just, you know, a lot of stuff. But this name, didn't, I don't know, I haven't noticed it actually often at all. In fact, when I picked it up, I'm like, I'll show them. Eh? So I wonder, like, sometimes, because I have the feeling that not always stuff that it's more like uh, following that kind of American U.S. tradition. It's uh, revered as much as perhaps much more like Samba or Bossa Nova, like uh, imbued rhythm, which were originated in Brazil. Because, of course, I understand Brazil is also quite protective of their own creation and music, the big heritage. So in that way, they also live a little bit in their own kind of bubble of music and language in the in South America because of the language um, but they're surrounded also basically by all Spanish countries so in that way I think that allowed uh, whether for the good or for the bad to just self-indulge in, in their own word literally and it's a big word and it's rich of course of many many things of many many songs but I had the feeling that sometimes like stuff like this I mean, this sounds freaking great when I listen to it, and uh, I wonder how popular is Alchona actually. live performance man thumbs up to the band to the choir she's just belting it out like bam bam missing nothing of the energy and the delivery I mean, it's a great song really like it keeps repeating the chorus with the same energy so sometimes it's also hard to get out of that uh, but it reminds me also of some songs of Tim Maya 
I wonder also this song is from, if if it is from the 70s or early 80s. I have the feeling it could be like actually a newer song at least because of the sound here. I'm I'm kind of leaning towards early 90s for some reason. But I could be totally wrong. Maybe it's just the sound of the band and the song is much older, much more like sort of, you know, soul from the late 70s. I enjoyed this very much. There is no doubt Alcione is one of those big voices, elegant, powerful, with a little bit of raspiness, belter. I mean, really the good singers, which they have wonderful pitch, dynamic, just presence. So in that way, uh, I'm actually surprised I didn't get this request more often. Um, because, um, yeah, I mean... This is really a good voice. This is really a great performance live, like, you know, really in the sphere of Team Maya stuff. So actually, if you ask me, uh, might be even uh, um, at least from this song, you know, not every live of Team Maya maybe was uh, in his best shape, so to speak. Um, maybe later on, because I've done more songs of Team Maya. And uh, Alcione here live, she's just bomb nailing it like no other so again same room with uh, ed motta you know alcione team maya super super cool guys let me know what you think about this super nice guys wow lovely alcione lovely lovely alcione i enjoy this very very much Guys, go check the... What is this? Go check if you're looking for a reaction that you think I haven't done. Maybe just do a little search before you suggest me the same stuff. Because otherwise we get lost. I know I haven't reacted to everything. Look at this here. I know I haven't reacted to everything. But we, we have done, you know, a ton of bigger names, of course, from Brazil. Most of the bigger names, I think we have covered them with one song or two or sometimes even more I know there is more and more and more and more but then again you cannot go in every niches of you know smaller artists or less known artists which just a little percentage of our audience here will relate to so in that way I also ask you like don't worry we will still do you know Brazilian artists and the bigger names that we have missed but also please open up also suggest other things that that we can all relate to it as well you know because you saw that now we also opening up a little bit to uh to hong kong and to china with this uh, lovely band beyond so and i love this that every every period we start to open up a little bit to different areas uh and this is the most fun also but don't worry we will keep going i'm still here we will still just I, I don't know what it means. I, I think I need to eat something. That's it. <laughs> <laughs>